As the global climate changes, our winter climate has been changing here too. We looked into the numbers with Nebraska State climatologists to highlight these alarming trends and how they're affecting us. Climate change is not about seeing one warm winter. It is about a bigger picture. To see evidence of climate change, we have to look for changes in our winter averages over multiple decades. Martha Sholsky, Nebraska State climatologist, says our climate is changing. The science is clear that climate change is real and it's here now. It's, we're feeling the impacts of climate change and the way we feel our impacts is through weather events. Let's break down the numbers. We'll look at two time frames, both a 30-year average, an older one from 61 to 90, and the other more recently from 1991 to 2020. Here are the snow totals compared by month, and we'll start with December at six and a half inches for the older uh, three decades and six inches for the more recent three decades. The lower total here will look a little different than the other trends, largely due to a warming trend that has provided more rain in December than snow. More on that in just a minute. First, we'll look at the increased snow, 6.8 to 7.4, a clear upward trend there, and February's the same. It is more snowy in the more recent three decades than the older three decades. So here's a look at temperatures. We mentioned earlier that snow was a little bit lower in the more recent three decades, largely due to the fact that we've seen a big warming trend, 25.3 degrees to 28.7. As we go into January, another warming trend here, 21.4 to 24.4. And then February looking a little bit warmer, about a two degree jump, 26.9 to 28.9 degrees. So a warming trend and generally getting snowier. The takeaway here, we are trending warmer and wetter in winter with an increased frequency of Arctic outbreaks in February, according to Sholsky. Many remember the devastation that followed the spring floods of 2019 after an extremely snowy February. Sholsky says the ingredients of that disaster are now being seen more frequently because of our changing climate. The ingredients that led to that, um, that's kind of a signature of our changing climate. Wet winter, um, our winters are getting wetter, that's projected to uh, happen due to climate change. Um, extreme events and heavy rain events, those are also a signature of climate change. It is important to note that this does not mean that we'll have a flood like we did in 2019 every year. But if our climate continues on this path, we will have the ingredients for these events to happen more often. To find an example of how one area is adapting to climate change, look no further than Sarpy County's Fontenot Forest in the wake of the 2019 flooding. The erosion, there was some scouring. The ice, as the rain started, was uh, an issue. Uh, there was no place for the water to go, so the water got higher in places. It took years to rebuild this area, opening again to the public this past spring. We had 200, 500 year floods within the span of 10 years. We are not going to presume that it's not going to happen again anytime soon. So we fully expect the river to flood again pretty majorly. They even rebuilt this area with more flooding in mind. So this particular bridge was built to withstand floodwaters. Uh, these ropes actually come out so we can remove them if we know a flood's coming so that debris can pass through easier. I think it's really important that you did a story like this because we were kind of talking about this earlier too. Yeah. A lot of people focus on the global scale, right? Yep. Where are we as far as climate change goes globally? But seeing it, mm -hmm. how it's impacting us locally, right. it, it just makes more of a difference too. Hopefully, it kind of speaks a little further for those who live here in, in yeah. Douglas County. I wanted to look through the numbers too to have a resource so right. people can see trends. These are numbers that come from the National Weather Service. They've been recorded yeah. and uh, it's all there. I know, and just seeing that number go up in that 30-year yeah. average, I mean, it's pretty shocking. It certainly is. Yeah.